Chapter 12, Section 2, The Six Success Factors of BPM Maturity. To illustrate these success factors, we refer to a chapter from the book Business Process Management Cases that discusses the journey of SAP handling the BPM initiative. This chapter is by Corinne Reisert, Sarah Zelt, and Jörg Wacker. Its exact title is How to Move from Paper to Impact in Business Process Management, The Journey of SAP. The starting point of this chapter is to look at the background. We are looking at SAP. SAP is a major software vendor. At the time of writing, SAP had annual revenues of 20 billion, more than 77,000 employees all around the globe, and around 300,000 customers. A key idea of process management at SAP is the run simple principle. The chief operating officer is responsible for the company's process office. The CEO of each business unit agree on the joint execution of the SAP strategy and the common portfolio of process improvement. When SAP started the BPM initiative, they faced pressures to produce innovative solutions faster and more simple. And there was a transformation of research and development processes. All this was driven by a move away from complex and static project methods towards agile and simple processes. The positive experience led to an increased emphasis of business process management. So the goal was to implement a BPM initiative on a company-wide level to establish a process infrastructure and a process improvement culture. How did they do this? There were different measures that contributed. First, they introduced a BPM team. The name of the BPM team was selected to be Productivity Consulting Group. They created a centrally managed SAP process map to create transparency of SAP's key processes, roles and responsibilities. They also introduced an SAP process maturity model with the ambition to increase the maturity of many processes. Performance measures played a very important role for process improvement. And a portfolio of BPM-related services was defined to support process managers on their way to reaching process excellence. Furthermore, all this was supported by strengthening the BPM community. SAP introduced a process architecture. At the most top level, the SAP process map was defined. This is a landscape model of the processes at SAP. If you look at the numbers, you can see that this is already a revision, since the numbers run from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7 to 8, 9, 10, and 11. Apparently, there was a simplification, and category 6 doesn't exist anymore. The core process was apparently drastically reduced to three major steps. Innovate, sell, and deliver. Furthermore, 
their support and management processes. SAP introduced also a tailor-made maturity model. It defines for every process different levels ranging from level 0 to level 3. Level 0 is a process that is neither transparent nor managed. Level 1 introduces some transparency. Level 2 is a process that is managed. And level 3 is a process on a high level of optimization that is continuously improved. In order to disseminate BPM ideas in the overall organization, a BPM community was introduced. It was supported by management and it included process managers, business owners of the different units in SAP. The idea was to foster knowledge exchange between these persons. And the service catalog was defined with services that the productivity group could deliver. You see here some of the services being mentioned, ranging from on-the-spot activities, like providing a process quick check, a role snapshot, a fast forward and a customer area, towards improvement projects, like impediment resolution, six days lean, lean education enablement, perfect day at work, health check, design for excellence, and data GPPS. Furthermore, they provide transformational services as long-term engagements, CRP enablement and lean leadership. Which kind of results did they achieve? They managed to establish a process management infrastructure that served transparency and process improvement throughout SAP. Process modeling played a critical role in this context. More than 600 employees were trained with modeling. More than 1,200 received other internal trainings. 92% of all processes were documented on level 3 of the SAP process architecture. This makes up for around 1,000 processes that are documented. The process map serves as an important reference for IT projects, enterprise architecture, idea management, business continuity management, data privacy and production. It serves as a fact-based instrument for process management and improvement. Employees report a high satisfaction with the initiatives. In around 100 projects, they obtained a 20 to 1 payback and a customer satisfaction higher than 75%. All this led to a significant reduction of processing times, partially ranging up to 74%. There are some major lessons learned. Strategic alignment of BPM played a very important role here. Strong governance mechanisms were introduced and the lively and engaged BPM community was fostered. The authors conclude that implementing BPM from a top-down perspective helps, but building an understanding of BPM and its value also requires a bottom-up effort. We can systematically organize these different experiences by the help of the BPM maturity model. This model distinguishes different capability areas and success factors. The six success factors are strategic alignment, governance, methods, 
information technology, people, and culture. Much of the book was already dedicated to methods and information technology. So let's spend a few words upon strategic alignment first and then the other factors that we did not discuss so much in detail. Strategic alignment is concerned with various questions around, for example, the strategic planning of BPM projects. How aligned are the methods and tools we choose in each phase of the BPM lifecycle to achieve the particular business goals? We may also have to ask about strategy and process capability linkage. Does the business strategy directly influence the business process and vice versa? Concerning enterprise process architecture, we wonder how well is the enterprise process architecture specified? We also wonder how well are process outcomes and related process performance measures defined? Furthermore, it is important to know how well is the view of the customers and other process stakeholders incorporated in BPM products. Regarding governance, we are concerned, among others, with BPM decision-making. What BPM decisions can be taken and when to handle both expected and unexpected circumstances? Furthermore, we have to discuss, is there a clear definition of BPM roles and associated responsibilities? Also, we need to know what are mechanisms that are in place to measure process performance and how appropriate are these mechanisms based on the chosen performance measures. We are also concerned with how well are BPM standards, conventions and guidelines defined. And we ask what control measures are in place to review and guarantee quality in all phases of a BPM project. Regarding people, we are among others concerned with knowledge. To what level do process participants and related process stakeholders know the processes they participate in? How much do the people in BPM roles, such as process analysts, know about BPM methods and tools? How developed is the corporate training in BPM and related business processes? How do process stakeholders collaborate and communicate with each other for achieving BPM and process-related objectives? And finally, how willing is a company's management team to lead BPM projects? Finally, there are some questions that are important regarding culture. Among others, regarding the responsiveness to process change. To what extent does the organization embrace and respond to continuous process change? How deep is process thinking ingrained in the organizational values and beliefs? To what degree do process participants adhere to process design? How much support do leaders exhibit for BPM? And are social networks in place to shape and disseminate BPM in the organization? When you think about all these factors, you may recognize that SAP has very successfully addressed many of them.